same name and the same shirt today, we're going to be talking about improving your bracing sequence in the sumo and conventional deadlift. Brandon, show them the fault that we're talking about here. Uh, even if you get in a good start position, it's really, really easy to ruin it through poor bracing mechanics. The thing that we see is when people try to create tension is they round their back, elevate their hips to breathe. Now you are going to get more air in by doing that, but more air isn't necessarily our goal. So with a lot of people, go ahead and stand up, Brandon. Now when you, uh, just so I can talk through it here, as you get in position, like keep a really good straight position and go all the way to the bar without getting tight. A lot of people will be really, really intentional. They'll get down to the bar. This is an excellent position to work from, but then they go and ruin it through their breathing. They round their back, hips come up a little bit, and then they jam themselves back into extension. And that's a real problem because it's not just about how much pressure you can feel and create, it's how you created that pressure and really where that pressure is at. With somebody who's really rounding their back to do this, this is gonna produce a lot of intrathoracic pressure. They're gonna feel a lot of pressure through their upper body which is not a bad thing because it's really important to have an anchored shoulder position, but they're not going to have a ton when it comes to the abdominal cavity or that area between the rib cage and pelvis. So our fix for that is avoiding that spinal flexion completely when you take air. And Brandon, go ahead and stand back up. And this would be the exact same sequence that we would use for anyone doing conventionals or sumo deadlifts with one caveat that we'll talk about at the end of the video. The first thing that we're going to do is find our setup position. We're gonna create like 30 to 40% uh, trunk rigidity. Just a little bit of a brace. That means that we're expanding 360 degrees. We're not going maximally yet, but we're just getting enough to anchor our spine as we hinge down to the bar. Brand, go ahead and get down to the bar. Now we're going to maintain that neutral spine the entire time because it's much easier to keep that neutral position and reinforce it versus getting out of it and trying to get back into it. So from here, Brandon is going to brace and build and create tension as he goes into the bar and as he wedges into the bar. And that's going to be the fix. Now, this is a hard thing to um, uh, re-pattern if you are somebody who's used to uh, jamming your hips really high and then doing like a really fast start position. So I really encourage you guys to do like pauses or eccentric pauses or eccentric tempo work to really work on your positions. Now the one caveat that I mentioned is if we have a really big guy or gal pulling conventional, they're physically likely to have too much um, maybe stomach or even thighs, quads, that get in the way when their belt is on. And that's going to force them to round their back a little bit. So for those people, we will often have them brace a little bit harder in the start position so they don't have to do a whole lot of work at that bottom position. What do you think about that, Brandon? Is that about right? Yes, yeah, so that's perfect. Um, one other thing I'd mention here is that oftentimes you'll also notice with these individuals is that the position they rounded at they go right into once they actually start lifting yeah. off the ground. It's a very common indicator. So I'm not sure how I can demonstrate this, but basically they start in a pretty good position. They take this 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 rounded back breath position here, jam themselves into extension, and then go right back to it at the start of the deadlift and deadlift it from there and ask themselves, well, why why can't I, I stop going into flexion? You know, is my back not strong enough? No, it's not that your back's not strong enough. It's that you're not bracing from a neutral position. So we have to maintain good position. We set our breathing and bracing mechanics. It's paramount that we do so. That's actually a really, really good point too, because almost everyone who does what Brandon just described is going to think they have a start position problem or a lockout problem. And the reality is, is they never actually created good tension to begin with. So it's actually neither of those. All right, Brandon Brandon signing out.